The Finitib which Screening Centre was set up in 2014-15, launched just this year. It's an £8 million project which is, uh, its main focus is working on phenotypic screens on human health but we're going to obviously branch out into different areas as well. Um, it's, it's located in Dundee uh, because of the Dundee drug discovery ecosystem which is very good but it also has a, a smaller screening facility in Oxford at the Target Discovery Institute. And we're also working closely with um, a, a group in Edinburgh run by Neil Carragher, which runs specifically around developing assays for the Phenotypic Screening Centre. The challenges at the moment are, faced, are facing the, the, the sort of difficulties that have been associated with target-based drug discovery and so that's why there's a rekindled interest in doing uh, phenotypic approaches but that's not to say that they're not difficult. Um, the the, the target-based approach is relatively easy in the sense that you can create a biochemical target in vitro and you can screen that with an enzyme assay for instance whereas a phenotypic assay has to be, usually be very complicated so to make it physiologically relevant so the difficulty is getting it very physiologically relevant. Um, and so that might require things to do with generating IPS lines, um, differentiating those cells, and then going on to then look at the cell phenotype as it develops, both in the healthy state and the disease state. So that's the big challenge, is sort of making sure the biology is as close to the patient, especially in human health, obviously, uh, as possible. So we were set up really to try and be the best platform that we could with the constraints uh, in money obviously um, to look at to bring high content readers together with automation in an academic setting that would be the bridge between the academics who often don't want to engage with industry directly um, so the NPSC is sort of like a halfway house so we can uh, bring the assay in work closely with the academics to build that assay into a sort of robust industry platform so sort of at least 96 if not 38 for well if not more uh, that type of miniaturization and and validate that assay using compound sets which aren't million compound sets but up to say 200,000 or, or less but I mean essentially we can do all those things that will be required to to give an industry partner confidence to work with the academics so kind of like a halfway house if you like. The Phenomics Discovery Initiative is really just the name which we give to our industrial consortium that we have and that's a public-private partnership between the Universities of Oxford, Edinburgh and Dundee and at the moment Janssen, Johnson & Johnson. Um, so they're the founding partners and the, the, the basic concept of the, the consortium is that we are building this bridge between industry and academia and so the partners that we're already got, which is Janssen, um, are very interested in, in not so much the chemistry side but the biology side. So they want to invest in us to help them develop their very complex assays, things that they wouldn't normally be daring to develop in-house.